And so this is a question on refraction for grade 11 physics. Uh, this one's dealing with wavelength of light going from uh, Ruby. It's going from a vacuum into Ruby. And the wavelength in a vacuum is 455 nanometers. So watch your units on that one. We want to figure out what's that wavelength going to be in Ruby. Now just to note, we're going to be using the index of refraction for Ruby that's from our notes. That index of refraction is specifically for yellow light, but we're just going to kind of apply it to, to all wavelengths of, uh, of light just to keep it simple. Okay. So we're given wavelengths and we're given Ruby and their index of refraction for Ruby. So the index of refraction that we're using for Ruby is, uh, let's denote it, and Ruby 1.54. And the wavelength of this light in the vacuum of space is 455 nanometers. Whereas the nano means times 10 to the negative 9, or a billionth of a meter. Right. So you want to know what that wavelength is going to be when it goes into Ruby. Now there's an easy way and a hard way to do this question. The hard way to figure out the um, frequency of the blue light inside of, the, of a vacuum, and remembering, and this is the tricky part, remembering that the frequency is the same in the vacuum and in the Ruby. The frequency of a wave source does not change when it goes from one material to another. Then using that and the speed of light in Ruby, you could figure out what the wavelength is in Ruby. But you'd have to change all of your units to meters and hertz and meters per second for speed. I'm going to do a way it's a little bit easier. And it's just going to be from the in definition of the index of refraction. Index of refraction of Ruby is, by definition, the speed of light in a perfect vacuum over the speed of light in the Ruby. Okay. Well, the speed of a wave can be broken down into frequency times wavelength. So it's the frequency in a vacuum times the wavelength of blue light in the vacuum over frequency times wavelength in the Ruby. Frequency inside the Ruby and the wavelength inside the Ruby. And if you remember what I just said, the frequency doesn't change as you go from one to another. So these two frequencies are exactly the same and they divide out. So I'm left with a simple little equation that the index of refraction of Ruby is not only a ratio of speeds, but it's a ratio of wavelengths. So wavelength and speed slow down in Ruby by the same factor, which is the index of refraction. So now we can very quickly calculate this question. And the units that were given for nanometers, it doesn't matter. We can keep them. The index of refraction has no units. So coming over here. 1.54 equals wavelength in the vacuum, 455 nanometers, over what the wavelength is in Ruby. So cross multiplying and dividing both sides, speed of light in a vacuum divided by the index of refraction. We should always get a value less than what it is in a vacuum. The vacuum is always kind of the maximum speed, the maximum wavelength that you could have for, uh, for light. Let me do that division, 455 divided by 1.54. So the wavelength of blue light, once it enters Ruby and slows down, would work out to be 295 nanometers. 